Hey, what's up guys? This is John from the Reaper blog. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to the SWS console. The console lets you use shorthand to do a variety of commands from selecting tracks, naming, coloring, mute, solo, change the volume, a whole bunch of stuff. So to use the SWS console, you need to install it through the SWS extensions. You can get those here, sws.mj-s.com. And there is a page dedicated to the reconsole and all the instructions that you will need. But I'm going to go through all the basics today. Okay, so I'm going to open up the action list and type in console to uh, find the open console action. By default, it's the letter C. Um, I have mine set up to shift C. So I'm going to run and close. And it's just this little window here. Let's start with things like uh, making selections. Capital S, and then let's select track nine. So type in nine and hit return and it goes to track nine. If I want to add something to this selection, I can use a lowercase s and uh, choose 14. So now tracks nine and 14 are selected. If I want to clear that selection, I can hit return again and we'll remove it. So most of the actions are toggles. We can also um, make a, a range of selection. So capital S and then say one to five. Or we could do capital S one comma three. So tracks one and three. So once we have tracks selected, we can do other things. So we can use uh, the letter O to solo those tracks. We can use the letter M to mute them. A is arm tracks, and H is polarity invert. And we can also set volume and pan to an exact value or to a relative value. Capital V minus three. So these tracks are now at exactly minus three. We could do a lowercase v and do minus one, and that will reduce that level by an additional 1 dB. So now these are at minus 4. And the same with panning, so capital P, and if I do 50, that will pan those tracks. See here and here, 50% right. We could do uh, P minus 50, that go 50 left. We do lower case P, and uh, 20, and now they're 30% left. So that's volume and panning. Let's look at naming tracks. So I'm going to make a selection again. Shift uh, S and 1, 2, 6. And then N for name. And let's do guitar or GTR. Cool. Now let's also make a selection of tracks 7 to capital S, 7 to 12. And then we're going to name that drum. Sure. Track selections can work on both the name of the track and the track number. So capital S 24 will go to track 24. Capital S GTR is going to select all the tracks named GTR. We could also do prefixes and suffix. So I'll do capital S track uh, one, three, and five. Let's make the selection. Uh, do B to add a prefix and add DI to the title. I make another selection of tracks two, uh, four, and six. Suffix is the letter Z. I'm going to add uh, Mike. Okay, so we have three tracks selected, those guitar mic tracks. Let's add an EQ to all of those. X is for insert effects, and uh, you just type in the name of the effect. Re-EQ. Uh, We've got an EQ on each of them. And once there's effects on the track, we can bypass the effects by just the letter F. So that bypasses the effects chain for those selected tracks. 
So that's it for the basic overview of the SWS console. Hope you found it useful. Hope you can put this into use in your own projects. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out reaperblog.net for lots more.